So how many of you have one, two, or five of these little boxes in your pantry? Well, don't worry. I'm going to share with you two yummy recipes that are going to help you use up this Jiffy Cornbread Mix. For this first recipe, we are making what is called a barbecue chicken cornbread skillet. It looks absolutely amazing. I pretty much have all of the ingredients here at the house already. So the only thing I do need to do beforehand is cook up some chicken. Now, if you don't mind like boiled shredded chicken, go ahead and do that. Or you can use a rotisserie chicken. But if you have been around here any sort of time, you know that me and my husband are not fans of just shredded boiled chicken. So to get started, I do need to cut up my chicken into small little bite-sized pieces and cook those in the skillet, and then we'll get started on the rest of the recipe. To a medium-sized mixing bowl, let's add in our box of Jiffy Cornbread Mix. A third a cup of milk. One egg. Let's give that a mix. And then once we get this mixed together, we're going to add in half a cup of this corn. Let's bring on over our skillet. Now for mine, I'm using a cast iron skillet. If you don't have one, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you put this in an oven safe dish. We'll pour in our cornbread mixture. In a separate mixing bowl, we're going to get our chicken mixture going. So I'm just adding my chicken right here to the bowl. To this chicken, we need to add in 8 ounces of tomato sauce, half a diced onion. The original recipe called for a 4 ounce can of diced green chilies. In my pantry, I didn't have a can of just plain green chilies, but I did have a can of this great value brand of Rotel. I think this is going to taste great, so I'm replacing mine, but if you want to follow the recipe exactly, just use a can of green chilies. Lastly, we're going to add in about half a cup of our favorite barbecue sauce. Our favorite is the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce, but of course, feel free to use your favorite. And that's it. Now we'll just mix this all together. Now let's bring back over our skillet with our cornbread and we're just going to spoon the chicken mixture on top. Now the recipe did say to leave a little bit along the edge to kind of have a crust. So we're going to mainly focus on putting this in the middle.
let's place this in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 35 minutes. And I wanted to tell you all really quick that once that's been baking for about, you know, 30 to 35 minutes, we're just waiting for the edge of that cornbread to get brown. Once that happens, we'll take it out. We're gonna top it with some really yummy cheese. And I was also thinking about adding some diced jalapenos to the top of ours. I think that would give it the perfect spice level. But once we do that, we'll put it back in, let it bake for maybe five minutes or so. And when it gets ooey gooey, you know it's ready. Y'all, this turned out really, really good. We actually really like this. Tyler said he was pleasantly surprised that it's much better than he was anticipating it was gonna be. To me, I think you get a little bit of sweetness from that sweet cornbread. You get a little bit of tangy from the barbecue sauce. And for mine, I put those little diced jalapenos on top so you get a little bit of spice. So we recommend this one for sure. For this last recipe, we are making Cajun cornbread crusted chicken strips. Say that five times fast. <laughs> but for this main entree, you're really only gonna need three ingredients, which is chicken tenders, some Jiffy cornbread mix, and some of your favorite Cajun seasoning. Now, back here on the counter, I do have some chicken breast. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up into strips. Now, if you have chicken tenders, feel free to use those, but let's go ahead and get started. In our mixing bowl, let's add in our Jiffy cornbread mix. For Cajun seasoning, I'm using the Tony Satchery Creole. And with this, I don't measure this. I pretty much just eyeball it. So y'all just go ahead and do the same. If you don't want it to be too spicy, you don't have to add in very much. But if you like it spicy, add in some more. With our cornbread mixture here, I did make up a small little egg wash. So the way I do this is I take my chicken strip, I dip it and coat it in the cornbread breading. Then I'll take it over here and give it, give it an egg wash bath. Make sure it's well coated. Kind of let some of that excess drip off and then we'll go back in the cornbread. And we'll just repeat this process until all of our chicken tenders are coated. To cook our chicken strips, I'm putting ours in our deep fryer if you don't have a deep fryer, that is totally fine. You can cook these in a little bit of oil on the stove with the cast iron skillet, or you can even bake these in the oven. Just make sure you cook them until they have an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Y'all, this is such a great 
easy weeknight meal you can throw together in no time and plus it pairs perfectly with some mac and cheese. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen this week. I hope you got some really cool ideas to use your Jiffy cornbread boxes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. I would love it for you to subscribe if you're new and I will see y'all next time. Bye.